I spend a lot of my time riding around in my small boat and kayaking. And over the years, I've actually come up with these five cheap and easy hacks for tiny boats and kayaks. And I want to share these with you right now. You should already have things like a personal flotation device or a life jacket. You should already be bringing bottles of water with you whenever you go out. Another thing you should already have is some rope or some line. Always make sure you carry some with you because it's very handy for tying off or securing some things and you never know when you're going to need it. We'll talk about why we need it coming up. And you should also have something to be able to bail out your boat if you ever need to. Even in a kayak because sometimes water gets in there and we need to bail it out. So we're not going to even talk about those things. We're going to talk about the five cheap and easy hacks for tiny boats and kayaks. And I know you're looking for answers, so let's get right to it. I've got Amazon up on my computer here, and I'll be providing links in the video description for many of the things that I'm talking about in here if you would like to purchase them. Number five, a box for your stuff. It might seem like a simple concept, but having a dedicated box for many of the things that you take with you when you go out in your kayak or your tiny boat makes it a lot easier to keep all of those things together and get those things on and off of your watercraft. Plastic box I have measures 16 inches long by 12 inches high and 12 inches wide. It works very well to keep all of the things that I take with me on my tiny boat, but you might need something smaller or larger. I like having a box with a snap-on lid because it keeps the water out of it and also it keeps everything secure whenever I'm storing it somewhere like in my shed or even in my tiny boat. If you only kayak, you might want a smaller box than this or you might just use the box to be able to transport stuff back and forth to your kayak. But either way, having a box like this to keep all of your stuff together I think is very important. Number four, a plastic cleat. What's a plastic cleat? This is a plastic cleat. Now this one is about eight inches long and I use this one for tying off my boat at the pier at the marina. The kind I recommend is one that's about half the size, about four inches long. And a plastic cleat can be bolted to the front of your kayak or somewhere on your small boat if it doesn't already have cleats. So something like this pair of small four inch plastic cleats like these right here be perfect because you could put one on the bow of your kayak and one on the bow of your partner's kayak or put one on the front and one on the back. These things can come in very handy because you could use it for towing another kayak, tying off at a pier, or tying an anchor off to, which gets me to my next point. Number three, an anchor. Now if all you ever do is go out and paddle around by yourself and you're never trying to stay in one place, then you don't necessarily need an anchor. But a lot of times if a person is fishing or they want to stay put for a little while, they need a small anchor. There's a couple of different options here. There's the one that I like to call the super free option, and then there's the option that costs just a little bit of money, but not too much. The completely free boat anchor option that I like is just using a weight. I have this old 10 pound dumbbell right here, which nobody's using. That makes a perfect anchor for a little boat. Just remember to tie off your line to this and then tie the other end of the line to your boat so you don't completely lose your anchor, which is what that cleat is for. But let's say you don't want to use a weight or you don't have one. Well, you can also buy cool little anchors like this one here. This is a 3.5 pound anchor. I have a link for it in the video description. And it's pretty cool because when this ring is down here, it keeps these from folding all the way up. And then you can bring this up here. And use it to hold all of those in place when you're not using it. It only weighs 3.5 pounds. And there's other options for ones that are heavier and lighter. And it'll fit in your storage box quite nicely. Number two, this one here is one of the first things that I bought whenever we started kayaking, and it's a seat cushion. These cost under $10. This is just one of those little stadium cushions. It's floating, but it makes that kayak bench a lot more comfortable, and those aluminum benches in a John boat much more comfortable as well. 
Now, if you do have a tiny boat, you know, a small aluminum boat or a John boat, and this is not a seating option that you want to go with, I do have a video that talks all about the other seat mount options that are available. And I have that linked up here if you want to take a look. And that brings us to number one. The most important thing that I think that we need to take with us whenever we're out in our tiny boat or kayaking is this. And this is a cell phone bag. Why I think this is the number one most important thing is because this will keep your cell phone dry and with you at all times. I use this all the time whenever I'm kayaking and I also use it sometimes when I'm out on my tiny boat. Basically the way this works is it fits over your head and it has these two plastic tabs right here that you rotate. And whenever those are rotated, the top part comes apart and your cell phone fits inside of this bag. What's really nice is that you're able to still use your phone whenever it's in this bag. And that's how I actually shoot a lot of stuff whenever I'm out in my kayak. There's a link right here to get two of these for under $10. And it might seem like a very cheap thing. I've had this probably for three years now and it doesn't have any leaks in it. And we use it quite often. So not only do you have it for being able to, you know, shoot some pictures or some video while you're out there on your tiny boat or your kayak, but also, if you fall out of your tiny boat or your kayak, in case of emergency, this is with you and it's dry. So do you have any other cheap, easy hacks for tiny boats or kayaks? If so, please put them down in the comments below. Share them with other people. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up down below as well. Thank you so much for watching. Here's a video you should be watching next. It's a good one. Check that one out.